All right, any kids want to join me up here for change for change? Tell you what, let's head right to the map. Yeah. Change for change, what a great year it has been. So let's take a look at all the changes we've helped make. So, make sure the little ones get in front so they can see the map too. There we go. You guys want to come in front? So you can see? There you go. All right. So look at all the changes we made. In Congo, we helped pay for a teacher for three months so that kids could learn at school. In Alberta, we helped provide meals for a camp so that people could deal with uh, residential school uh, effects that have effects on their families. Uh, we helped in Montreal to uh, pay for some beekeeping supplies and gardening supplies and helping people learn how to look after bees. Uh, in Saskatoon, we provided lots of milk for the, uh, for the Saskatoon Food Bank. Uh, in Japan, we helped uh, give them supplies to help build a teaching pond so to teach people how to raise fish to help their communities. Uh, in Ecuador, we helped farmers learn about um, organic farming methods. And in Uganda, we uh, helped buy books for kids in an orphanage there. So this month, our little dot is very close to where we are. So let's go back and I'll tell you about it. So Change for Change has been very successful. But unfortunately, sometimes things happen and you can't change them. There is no change. So, but the good thing is, oh sorry, I didn't get the rug out. I guess we'll just have seven before, sorry. But the good thing is, even if you can't change something, sometimes you can help. Now, sometimes bad things happen and there are people and places that help. Can you think of a place that helps or people that help when something bad happens? I'll give you a hint. Think what they're building next door. Yeah, fire department, they help when things when something bad happens. Can you think of any others? Ambulance, yeah, that's a good one. Yeah. Who helps when things are bad? Exactly. People help other people. That's right. How about even closer than next door? Exactly. Right here. Do you think churches help people when things have gone bad? Yeah. So sometimes maybe not physical help, but sometimes help for their heart, help for their hurting. Well, last weekend some really, something really bad happened. And there's a church uh, about an hour away from here that's a United Church, just like us. They're called Westminster United Church in Humboldt. And because something really bad happened in their community, there's a lot of people who are hurting, who are sad, who need some extra help. So the church is doing a lot of work to help reach people and say, you know what, if you're feeling bad or you need help, come and see us or reaching out to kids who are feeling sad and upset and come and we'll, you know, maybe we'll just have pizza together. Maybe we'll just go bowling. I don't know if they have bowling in my but maybe. But let's do things together. So I got hold of the Westminster United Church and said, you know, you guys have a lot of work ahead of you, a lot of reaching out to people, a lot of helping people. Can we help you? And they said, that would be so nice. We really appreciate you standing with us and helping us. So today, instead of change for change, has unfortunately, we can't change what happened, but we can help. So today, we're gonna collect help for helpers. And the helpers 
we're collecting for is Westminster United Church. And uh, one of the things they thought they might, uh, could use the money for is to reach out to young people. And whether it's come on over for pizza and let's talk or come on over and we'll just have some fun together or whatever. So they can use some extra resources, some extra help. So we're going to help the helpers. So, who would, who hasn't carried it down? Oh, and you know what? This is our last Change for Change Sunday until the fall. And then we'll start all over again because it's just so much fun. I can't resist. <laughs> so I've got to convince the board that I don't think it would be too hard to twist it on. <laughs> so, who hasn't taken it down yet? Who would like to take it down? Don't all jump up at once. <laughs> Have you taken it down? Anybody else that hasn't? Do you want to take it down? Okay, there you go. Thank you for volunteering. You're being a good helper too. <coughs> you might have to get some help because it's heavy. All right, here you go. You guys can head downstairs.